We got a bunch of bees out here. Somebody's more excited than me. I can't see nothing from where I'm at. Let me get out of here. There. I can't get them so close. Yeah. I'm allergic to what? Oh hey, look at them bees. I knew it. There's bees everywhere. I'm gonna try and that's the, that's the lemongrass box. Yeah, that's not the, uh, that's not the swarm wrangler. Swarm wranglers in all the other boxes. But for whatever the reason, they like that lemongrass for some reason. Um, I think one of the big problems with the Swarm Wrangler that I found, because I've got the bullet in that box, and I'll come out about every week, it'll be empty. So I think what's happening is the, the vial is just running out too quick, whereas in her lemongrass box, she has it on a... Um, a Q-tip in a pay, in a um, what is it? Those Ziploc bags, and it, and it lasts her longer. Whereas I'm coming out about every week to fill the little bullet back up. So um, we'll see where the chips fall for certain, because right now it's just a mess. Um, I do think they're going into her lemongrass box. Let me zoom back out so you can actually see better with me moving. But there's just bees everywhere. There's been bees everywhere. We we baited all those boxes, so Swarm Wrangler. Good got it the bees. Yep, that's the box they're going to. Yep, you can see they're going in the lemongrass box. That's a lot of bees. And that's the box I've been using the bullet in. And it's just not not working out good with the little bullets. Not here. I had a big bullet and then it got lost in the uh, remodeling of the house. I was going to put it in there. Um, I just ain't had the time and the money to buy the big vials to do another big bullet to test. But yeah, and in case you're wondering, there's only like four or five frames in there. They are in the top. They are not in the bottom box. They are deeps in the top on that super. And the reason why is so that there's a cavity below those frames in case a big swarm was to go to the box. Because now we're in primary swarm season. So a lot of the swarms you'll be seeing are primary. They're going to be the big swarms. They're not going to be the small swarms, the secondaries. And so bees, the bees, I've seen them move into nukes. They moved into that little white nuke a couple of years back. But they tend to like a bigger area whenever it's a, such a big primary swarm. And putting your frames in a super on your nuke box gives the illusion that there's more space than there is. Because the bees, they don't care that there's nothing there in terms of there's no frame structure. They'll they'll build comb out on the bottom of those frames if you don't watch. So this is another reason why I didn't want to look in the box. Because we've been seeing increased activity for a few days now around that specific box. And one day I thought that I saw a bee with pollen sacs go in but then it got cold the next day and we didn't see hardly any activity but it was about 57 so bees should still be flying and so my concern was that the bees had not actually moved in and were considering it and if I had opened the box and messed with it it would hamper their impressions of the box as a livable space um, and that's something that I've been doing with, with the bullet because about every week I have to come out, op open the box up to put the bullet in after I've refilled it. So I may just start spraying the entrance with the Wrangler and not even bothering with the bullet and see if that increases their impressions. Because they go to all these boxes. 
Those two, I just spray. That one has lemongrass. That back one has lemongrass. And I think that one in the very back has lemongrass. Yeah, the one on the whale house back there, or the whale. So, but that box there, I keep opening it to refill the bullet. These two, I just spray. I open them up and I spray it in the back and I spray it on the front. Uh, I may just start spraying it on the front and not opening them. Because the, the bees know if they're in there and you, oh, and you disturb it, they may not move in. Or they may not care. It depends on the, the colony. So... That's definitely some bees moving in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I came out earlier and looked and I, there was bees going in and out. I know my camera can't pick it up the best, but there's a bunch of bees on that on that board there marching in onto the landing board. Underneath it. Yeah. They're even on the center block. That's underneath there. There's a lot of bees. So the amount of bees flying has calmed down considerably as they're moving in. But I would say it was a close fight between this one and then the two next to it. But in the end, they chose this one. Yeah, I think your ideal on spraying is better with the swarm spraying that you're talking about. Well, I had the bigger bullet I was going to test, but I lo it got lost. Because I think a bigger bullet would work, especially if you're going out into, you know, a tr you know, going out far, driving to a tree line to put up a swarm trap. You don't really want to have to go out there every two weeks, week, to refill your bullet. You would like to have a larger bullet that you can apply and leave for a month or three weeks. Now that that box that has got the swarm, I actually baited that box twice yeah. this year. I baited it once. But I've baited the bullet about three, four times. Yeah, I baited that one and that red one back there. And the uh, I baited those two once. And that was weeks ago. But they do check out the... They check out the swarm wrangler mm -hmm. because they've they've went in all these boxes, yep. they sure have. and whenever I was refilling it, because obviously you're spraying it, they started checking me out. <laughs> yeah, you know, and there's no there, there was no bees at the time in the yard, so any of the bees that were checking me out, you know, they weren't positioned in in this yard, because that's like I was telling. Her, you know, you know, when the bees are in the yard, that's when you can start seeing the more aggressive behavior because a lot of the times the scouts won't be as aggressive as a colony moved in will be. But yeah, as you can see, about eight minutes since I started filming and they've, they've basically gotten everything figured out. You know, there's a few bees under the landing, landing board. But for the most part, they've got their home situated. You know, you still got a few doing their orientation flights, but most of them have done moved in. And this, I was super excited. <laughs> yeah. I seen the bees in the air and I knew exactly what was going on. Yep, I'm just to leave them alone, let them get put in to the box the way they want, and then mess with them. But yeah, I just, I baited that nuke again, wasn't it last week? Well, yeah, because I was yeah. out here with the swarm wrangler. Yes, I baited it, I baited that red one back there, and I baited the one back there on the well. Um, and then he baited these three. Yeah. And then I had another location. I've got one box with another bullet in it. And that box has no competition in terms of man-made boxes. It's the only box out there. So if any bees move into it, they chose it over cavities and trees. 
Um, and of course, these are all filled with the ruined frames from the, the rats. Because it turns out rats enjoy empty brood comb and empty cleaned out super frames versus rat poison. So, that's all that's in these boxes is those ruined frames that had just a little bit of comb on them. But that, that's great to see. I didn't want to have to, wasn't in the mood to go buy any bees. I've, I've bought bees in the past. Nothing wrong with buying bees. Uh, you can get some great genetics if, if you know who you're buying from. Or you can be like me and get some horrible hot genetics based on who you're buying from. Uh, I, just, I just didn't feel like buying any bees this year, spending the money on buying the bees. You know, that's money you can spend on equipment, uh, bringing in new genetics in the forms of queens. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad they moved in, and I've had a lot of people offer to give me bees, being very generous. Uh, Bob, Hillbilly Earl, Ricky Rorick, you know, lo loads of other people as well. But, uh, at least I know these bees are somewhat local. Hopefully they're not mean. I don't know. We've had the hot bees here for a few years, so they... They could have intermingled with those bees, and they could be mean. But, it's great to see that I'm getting settled and start working those frames. And then, after they get those figured out, maybe start put, putting them into a little bit bigger box with some foundation to properly draw out some good proper frames instead of the mess that's in there right now. But thanks for watching.